Welcome back. The impact of social media backlash. Goya Foods president and CEO facing criticism this summer after praising President Trump at a White House event. Twitter users went nuts about it, calling for a boycott of his company in response with the hashtags Go Goya Way and Boycott Goya trending on Twitter. Joining me right now is the president and CEO of Goya Foods, Bob Unanwe. And Bob, it's great to have you this morning. Thanks very much for joining me. What happened with all of that controversy? It's just unbelievable. When, when did it become a bad thing for someone to have an opinion? All of a sudden, you get attacked. Well, good morning, Maria, from the Lone Star State of uh, Texas, uh, where I live and I vote. Uh, you know, we're the land of the free and the home of the brave, although we're losing our freedom and we're losing our courage. Uh, this year, our company has done fantastically well, not only in the United States, but in the Caribbean and Europe. Uh, it, in the beginning of the year, here we are sitting, going along, the greatest economy on the earth, led by, the, by President Trump, and that's why we're blessed with uh, regulations at bay, and we're, we're going along very well. The problem is we're in an election year. The, the Chinese had uh, been working on many projects in Italy. Uh, it, in Italy is where the coronavirus breaks out, moves to Spain, moves throughout Europe, and then to the United States. Uh, we, we love to play the blame game, but the president wasn't uh, to blame for the coronavirus in Europe and this track from China through, through Europe and in, into the United States. So here we are sitting uh, in the greatest economy on earth with this economy in the United States doing well where we're, where we're weaponized. We basically took the coronavirus and we weaponized it. We turned it on our own people. Goya sells to the masses. Yeah. And the masses have been put out of work. There's 15.6 million people in the restaurant business. And so they're out of work. And by politicians who get paid no matter what, they should be fired. They get a salary. The president received mm. no salary. They turned huh. their weapons on in a political year on the masses. This is discrimination against the working class. We're yeah. not teaching our children. We're not working. Yeah. Bob, isn't it incredible to you that, I mean, it's incredible to me that you get attacked for saying that we're blessed to have President Trump and there's no comment whatsoever about China and the Communist Party. There's no attack on the Chinese Communist Party for exporting this thing to the United States and stealing intellectual property. Instead, they attack you for saying that a sitting president, uh, that we were blessed to have him and that you complimented a sitting president for his policies. It's unbelievable. Well, I, I've been censored on Twitter and other, and other things. You know, we're the land of the free, but we don't have free exp expression. We're controlled by social media. Any, anything that doesn't go along with their agenda or narrative is not permissible. We've lost our courage. Yeah. You know, we are the greatest uh, country on earth, but we've lost the freedom. You know, we have to get back to work. You know, the president never wanted to shut down. We're going into this long, dark winter, and it should not be that. You know, we have to yeah. have the freedom to work, to express ourselves. And also, I, I might yeah. want to add that uh, I'm, I work, I live in Texas, although I travel. I was over in Europe uh, early in the year, and we're doing great. And because it's an election year, they turned, they want to play the blame game and blame the president for Tom Brady not, you know, dropping a pass, the one pass he was thrown. And, and you want to blame him for the, the sun not coming up in the morning. 